Hi guys, General Splatton here. Please do not adjust your set. You're looking at a Greater Demon of Slanesh by Games Workshop. Specifically this model is the Keeper of Secrets. It's an older model from the early 90's that I've had for a long time obviously. Uh, but I've recently painted him up and just want to give you a uh, video tour of uh, the model itself. I put it on since it's uh, such a grand model that would uh, be the focal point or the centerpiece or linchpin of any uh, Warhammer army. Put it on a 2x2 uh, two two, uh, wood base. Built the base up. I gave it a snow effect. Uh, like he's standing above the uh, troops and he's pointing out over the crowd saying to me it's like you go there. If I had to name the miniature that's probably what I'd name it. You go there. Or hey you come here. But I just want to give you a quick uh, look at him. I'm really pleased uh, with how it turned out, but especially two areas. The uh, horns that uh, I think they turned out really well the way I blended them out from uh, uh, almost black out to white. Uh, I think they uh, turned out pretty good. And then I'm really, really pleased with that right there. The uh, bronze uh, armor or brass armor over the uh, crab claw. Uh, took a lot of shading and highlighting uh, to get there, but I think it was time well spent. Really pleased with how that turned out. Hopefully, the camera, yeah, there we go. The camera getting it better now. It's life. I'm finally learning how this life cam works. So you have to excuse the uh, jitteriness. Uh, give you a little tour. He's got his mouth open. Um, glaring. He's got some uh, wounds either self-inflicted or he's been in a battle. Uh, his boots painted him along the lines of the way uh, Games Workshop had originally uh, done this model uh, but I just couldn't pull the trigger on the uh, pink boot so I gave him a red boot instead uh, if anybody remembers this model uh, they had a, a pink boot, they had the black boot with the uh, spikes uh, I went with the color scheme as far as the skin uh, the I have a box that I haven't painted up yet that I'm going to the uh, Daemonettes where that you can use in either 40k or uh, Warhammer and so on the box they had a uh, purpley skin tone and purple hair so I gave him purple hair and I gave him a, a uh, purpley skin tone in different areas not completely I like the uh, like right here on the thigh that's one of my favorite parts as far as the skin work. I don't know if it'll you can see it real well but uh, just a subtle effect right there. The face and head it looked to me and still does like a uh, Brahma Bull so I painted in that fashion. Anybody knows anything about Brahma Bulls? Well they uh, have uh, light faces that uh, darken toward the uh, tips of the ears and around the nose area and mouth area so uh, that's the way I painted it. So there's really no purple in this part of the face Only where the uh, hair starts and then as far as the uh, skin on the uh, back as you can see in different areas and got some vein work more of his wounds uh, Another area that I'm really pleased with is the uh, Chain mail I really like the way that turned out. I gave it a weather beaten uh, look, uh, kind of rusted and corroded over time. Uh, these are not uh, soldiers, they're, they're demons and stuff. They're going to be kind of rough on their armor, I thought. Uh, they're more into ripping you apart than keeping up the equipment. So, that's how he turned out. Uh, used. Uh, Vallejo uh, game color for the colors uh, gave it the snow effect on the base and a little grass work with snow and some uh, uh, weeds growing up beside the uh, rock outcropping that he's standing on so overall 
the zoom in here. Uh, you wouldn't want this to show up for lunch because you would be lunch. Uh, gaping mouth, uh, the rotting and tattered teeth is lobster claw. So, all in all, good looking mini, but a guy you wouldn't want to bring home to mother. So, I hope you like it. More to come. Got some other projects in the work. Got some others that are finished that I hope to put on uh, the tube here shortly. But uh, tell me what you think. Uh, is this something you'd like to put on your tabletop? Got any questions? I certainly would love to hear from you and answer them about uh, techniques I used or choices I made. Just let me know. Uh, love to hear from some of y'all. Look forward to uh, hearing from you and ask you to please rate and uh, leave some comments, uh, questions, you know, whatever you think. Uh, it's always good to uh, get the word out and get some response and feedback. That's why I'd really like some feedback and what uh, some of you think. Some of you are a lot better painters than I am and uh, some of you may not be but uh, I'd like to hear from all different quarters about it so once again this is General Splatten hope you've enjoyed the demon as much as he has bringing himself to you I look forward to uh, hearing from you thanks and have a good evening bye